Hi, how's it going? This is my vlog for the 15th of August, 8.52, Thursday, 2024. And I'm currently, I just was smoking as much reefer as I could, man. I'm like running out of reefer. I got to quit. Look at it. Don't got um, asthma, but um, just finished my energy drink, and I'm like buzzing because I got a C4, and they have niacin. Um, and uh, yeah, I like was up all night. Um, I was uh, going through files. Uh, yeah, and. Uh, Anyways, I'm then today doing that and uh, going through email today and uh, and organizing and uh, yeah, taking forever. My mom came over today and um, I helped do the organizing. Yeah, and I found some um, uh, last night when I was going through files. I found files of uh, um report cards from the second grade and uh, third grade um, and uh, and then a psychological profile in the seventh grade and uh, uh, yeah so that's kind of interesting um, um, And I read that one of them, the psychological profile one was uh, nine pages. Um, Cause I, um, yeah, I can't remember. Oh yeah, my mom is having problems with me like doing baby, <laughs> doing baby talk, and that's funny because she calls it now like don't do baby talk when I'm like just trying to be like act and stuff. But. Uh, um, I guess I was being like acting um, fidgety. I took like um, intelligence tests, IQ tests, and I got a high IQ of 112, overall IQ of 112. Uh, but my IQ on uh, math was like 70 or something. But um, and they did it. They did it like with the G, the graph uh, with a percentage. So. I think uh, I had like an IQ of 63 percentage points, but a math IQ of 37. But um, and then I saw another type of intelligence test that was kind of hard to distinguish, and it was kind of looked the same though. Weak on math, stronger on uh, science. Um, but um, yeah, I'm gonna put them up. My mom doesn't want me to put them up on my website. Um, I'll talk to her more tomorrow, but. That'd be easy to just scan it and put it on Flickr. I wanted to do it because um, I'm talking about education, my whole website, trying to replace schools. And so to uh, disclose my educational background and everything would be appropriate. And uh, yeah, and it's cool if other people do it too, you know. I mean, if you're going to spend all this time and resources and money, might as well not lose it by putting it up there and not have you just benefit from it, but let everybody look at all of it for the greater good, but, um, yeah, but anyways, so I got, I met with the guy three times and took some tests. I guess I got an IQ of 2,806, but then I went back in like the sixth grade, but then I went back. So for some reason they had me go twice in the seventh grade. I think they had me go maybe in the fifth grade or no, no, because I switched schools in the fourth grade, but, um, I got an IQ of 112 and, but then I went back in, the, in seventh grade and got one of 106. Which means, but but he wrote in the thing, but kids in Boulder are smarter. So I guess I was like right at 100, like average IQ for Boulder. But uh, um, maybe I'll read it. Yeah, I should read it once I find it, once I organize it again. Um, and uh, and uh, the report card of second grade said that I am, I have very good physical strength, but... And I'm more relaxed this year. So apparently I, I got really uptight in first grade. <laughs> um, 
and uh, what else? Oh, said I didn't listen well though, and it said that I I didn't listen well in kindergarten in Austin before I moved to Boulder, and the teacher wanted to uh, hold me back in school because of that. But we moved to Boulder, so I wasn't held back. But then the the teacher gave me bad grades for uh, not listening or getting instruction. <laughs> So, um, but I guess the psychological profile said that I was, it was just because I was bored. So, because it wasn't challenging enough. So that's, that's complimentary. Oh, yeah, I should read all of them. But, um, um, uh, and then I saw one with the fingerprints. Um, and then I saw some artwork that I did that I think I was going to put up on the wall. I need to laminate it. I wanted to laminate it, but my mom, I like, couldn't stand the noise. So I need to finish that, and then I was I need to finish uh, deleting my emails. So it's just like getting caught up on life from neglecting everything takes a while. It takes a matter of days. So I'm just taking my time and enjoying myself, you know, because I because I know I can't go back. It's kind of one of those situations like if you're trying to row your boat across the ocean, right? And I already rowed halfway, um, so it's like just as far to go to where I go home as to get to the other side. So I'm committed. I might as well go to the other side. That's that's kind of it's not obviously a direct comparison, but that's what it's like. It's the same exact um, psychological place that it puts me in, though, because uh, I don't have to worry about going back because I can't go back physically. I can't go back because I know it's kind of like when you're trying to become a drug, uh, uh, not a, a drug addict or a weed addict, and and uh, like really bad things happen to you if you smoke weed or if you drink alcohol and but you're also addicted and so you finally hit rock bottom and you get to the point where you can actually remember like as you're right before you go to buy it you go wait I know exactly what will happen that actually happened to me with alcohol like I got so old and out of shape that um, it's not really I it's actually not like that now. It was sometimes like that because I drank the other day and had fun two nights ago. But um, yeah, but like, I mean, I can't drink as much. Like if I try to drink an, a six pack or something, you know, it's like if you try to drink the whole thing, um, I understand the concept of not drinking an entire bottle now, but before I would, I didn't understand the concept. So if you go, you know, it's like, wait, I know what would happen if I drink that, you know, and I, I experienced that with smoking weed too back when smoking weed and trying to like get back in shape at the same time and try and expecting to function the same way is stressful because um, you don't uh, it takes everything takes longer so um, at least in the beginning when you're not habituated to it so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm like I don't I know that I don't have to go back so I'm just like uh, totally relaxed I'm, I'm like a astronaut floating to the moon. That's the best way to describe it. There's no means by which I can use to return to Earth at this point. Uh, because I know what would happen. I mean, it's for different reasons. With the astronauts, it's because they don't have the rockets. With me, it's because it's the equivalent of, oh, oh, I do have the rockets, but if I land on Earth, I don't have a parachute. That's what it is. Like, I know I could go back and sit around on a couch and work on my and do chat even even if it's chat GTP working so fast and work on chat GTP I know that physically I could do that just like the astronaut physically could you know my hypothetical situation could turn on the rockets and fly back to the earth but then what then they're going to try to land on the earth they wouldn't be able to land same thing with me if I did that and I sat on the couch I'd be working and working but then in about two weeks, I'd either die of a heart attack or I would have this shearing hard, like excruciating pain all the way up the inside of my right leg that I've never felt in my entire life. And I'd be like, what the fuck is that? And I'd stand up and it wouldn't go away. And then the rest of the day, it wouldn't go away. I'd get up the next day, it'd be like purple. I'd have to go and see the doctor. I'd find out that I'd have to get into surgery to get a vein removed. Next day, I'd find out that there's searing pain in my, you know what I mean? Like my hip, I'd have to get hip surgery, that kind of a thing. Like, like, and then I would um, get a blood clot and die. Like, like it's the same thing as trying to land without a parachute. That's that's where I'm at. The 
it's just that I know, you know, luckily for me, I know what would happen. So like I have a pain right on the, on the lower part of my uh, hamstring right now. It just flared up. Um, and if I pay attention, I will get a pain in my ball socket of my left hip before the end of this video. Yep, I just, oh, yep, I just got a big one, oh my god, because I like literally can't even sit down anymore, so, so I was sitting here, and um, damn, I like willed that into being, oh my god, you can see, you, I, I can actually will them into being, like I got another one, like they only don't exist if I'm not paying attention to it at all, ow, see, there's like a really painful one on the top of my leg, like, yeah, like they're pretty much constant. Um, I, 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 I can barely will them out of it, knowing that they're there. And I keep moving around to keep from happening. So I literally can't sit down anymore. And um, so today I was uh, deleting uh, emails like after my mom left and sitting here. And I'm sitting here like, oh, my God, like I hope I can finish this sometime. I was at like 2,700 and then now I'm at like 915. And so I'm going to go ahead and do all of them. And then I just called my mom. And I left a message on her phone to see if she thought that I should delete all of her messages because I was thinking about not doing it because, you know, like maybe when I'm 100 years old, I could re look back and my mother's emails because I don't have like voice recordings of her. And I could like copy paste voice to speech in my mom's voice or whatever email and because it's her wording, you know what I mean? And I don't have the time to copy and paste all her emails now. And if I delete them all now, then it's lost forever. So I was just going to ask her, like, should I just de delete all her emails? Because that'll shorten up my email. My email list. So, um, uh, but I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm still shortening up stuff. And then tomorrow is when I have to do all the other paperwork stuff that I'm way behind on. Um, man, that, that place keeps being shown. And I'm like, where is that? Is that like China? I need to find out where that is. Because, like, look at that one, dude. Like, what the fuck? Imagine camping. We Colorado has this right outside of Boulder, but they're not covered with trees. Like, Jesus, dude. Like, what the fuck? You know, when I'm an old man, I want to get into, like, rock climbing to the top, and then you base jump off. That'd be a fun thing for old people to do. Because if you don't, if you die... It's not that big of a deal because you're old. And look, look at, look at that. And by then, it's more safe. Look at that. Somebody should build a platform off of Long's Peak. I would, I would wingsuit off of that as an old guy. Anyways, um, somebody did do that once. They should have filmed it. Anyways, um, so. Uh, I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm watching, I was smoking weed and I think I'll sm watch a little bit more music videos until the feeling, the nice and feeling goes away from my face, maybe in 10 minutes, smoke a little bit more weed. Oh, no, 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 what I'm going to do is um, delete the rest of my emails and then, and then I have to go in, into my room and organize my room and look and everything. See, I have a lot of stuff in here that's organized. Remember where everything is because it's been a few, couple years again. Time goes by so fast. And uh, find the um, chain tool for my bike so I can put my chain back on. Because I was going to ride my bike, but I want to ride that bike because the headset's loose. And I think it was cracking the frame of my good road bike. So I'm going to take my old road bike so uh, to the store instead of drive. So I'm going to, I need to, uh, yeah, put the chain in. It came in yesterday. And then fix the mountain bike. I think I, um, I need to fix the, get another one of those little things, the spinning wheel, let it like freewheel just snapped and just spins around. I've never seen that before. That would have been sketchy to happen during a ride. It, I think it happened. Yeah, it happened when I was riding my bike to the store, but that would have been super sketchy to happen like in the middle of like twerking up a thing because you could like flip over the handlebars or something, hit your knee on the, something on the, handle, on the handlebars or something. Or like have your knee like get chopped into the into the uh, f um, chain ring. I was with a friend in high school, junior high, and mountain biking, and the um, the chain snapped, and his leg went calf went into the uh, chain ring. The chain was in the middle chain ring, 
So the teeth went into his calf muscle about an inch. I was like, ooh. Anyway, um, um, so, um, yeah, I'll probably have to buy another piece for that mountain bike, um, but then it needs to have a new wheel. Maybe I'll re rebuild that. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, and I might want to get a, uh, I think I want to get a hamster too. I want to make a lot of changes. My bike, my car goes in on the 19th to get the stereo and on the 20th. The, uh, I mean the bike on the 20th, the stereo. on The, the bike on the 19th, stereo on the 20th, and then wheels on the car on the 24th, so... Um, yeah, so then get a hamster. And I was, oh, and I, and, and I was thinking about getting a, uh, maybe even building the freaking cage. Because that's, that's exercise for me, just doing housework. Because my back, the inside of my back is, um, it needs to be rebuilt. And, uh, it's a different feeling. Like, I can feel it on the inside, and it's like a lot more, it feels like the muscles are longer. So it's a lot more, like, exhausting and, uh, uh, yeah, so I might want to just build the, the cage on top of my uh, refrigerator and uh, buy a, because uh, I have an empty 20 galloner right there. I think I will. Put that bitch all up in there and then put them in there. That's like a 35er. Uh, I want to get a, because um, they're 60 bucks and I might have the money for it. I want to get a um, um, bearded dragon because I went into the, uh, because I already buy crickets, right? And so when I buy crickets, I'll just give some to the bearded dragon and some to the uh, Savannah monitor, which I took out of the cage and showed to my mom. But, um, yeah, I went in and there are these bearded dragons that are like this big, but I fucking swear to God, dude, out of all of the animals on the planet, and you need to go on YouTube bearded dragon right after watching this video. The bearded dragon is by a gazillion fucking points. It's like the only, like, animal, little tiny little animal that's like little people. You know when you're a little kid and you're like, I remember when I first moved to Boulder, we, moved, we lived in this house. Uh, it was the house that was right, it was on 6th Street, just to the north of the log cabin house, which was Andy Hampton's house for a while. We were the house that was just next to it, just to the north of that. We had a little river going in the back. We lived there six months before we moved to Mariposa. But this lady who was like living with us, because she was like our roommate, she was like the, the tenant of the people who we rented the house from, and so she stayed there, and she was off in some corner, But as far as I remember, in one of the rooms. But um, she told me as I was six, she, she's like, yeah, there's these little people. And there was this little house, like, behind the house, this little trail. We had, like, a little backyard trail area, trees, and... She, that was, like, a really cool house. But, um... She, uh... She, she's like, there's these little people, like, little humans who live there. And we give them food and gnomes. And for a second, I was, like, believing her. Like, really? But anyway, how little kids think. Like, the little people. Like, if you want to think about, like, Fraggle Rock with the little fraggles... If you want to think about like the little people or your little buddy who you hang out with, that's the bearded dragon, dude. A hamster was like that for me before. You know, you hold them up and they look like little people. They're wiggling around. But ha hamsters have those black eyes and they're just kind of like, yeah, sure. Hamsters are like cute little people, but they're like cute little retards. You know, you pick him up and he's like, what the fuck? But a bearded dragon is like, what's up? Like, you can see where they look. They're standing and they're just looking at you. And like, it's like a little person, only it's this big, you know? And then, of course, they get that big. And now you've got, like, a big thing, like like a house cat almost. Not as big, but he's like your friend who lives, like, house cat long years. And it's just a fascinating animal. And I might want to just, because I have all the chicken wire outside now. I'm kind of firing myself up, actually, right now as we speak. To put a cage right there. And then build the cage on top of that. That's my false tree. All the way so he can hang out with the ferrets. 
over there and even up the next tide and then I can put him in there and I'll have plenty of time to build it. I think I'm going to. Um, it's a matter if I can afford it or not. If I can get a good roommate. Um, <coughs> it'll be easy for me to get a roommate. I'm not freaky. I'm not this freaky like stoner yawning all the time in the house I'll be like an athlete like Mr. Cool did um, I could cut my hair and cut it, cut it really short here and I'll look like a jock you know and uh, and like shave my shave my beard and get more, more muscle tone and be like show up my chin like this be like a chad and have my hair spiky like a chad and um my uh, my roommate freshman year of college, the name was Chad. He was like a black belt in Taekwondo. We got into to a fight. Um, yeah, he was he was uh, out kicking me. But uh, I was trying to catch his legs, but I couldn't do it. But anyway, um, 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 what was I talking about? Um, oh yeah, so yeah, lots of different, uh, uh, changes I'm happy about. So I'm gonna, anyway, I'm gonna go and watch some music videos. And, um, and uh, smoke a little bit of weed and, and yeah, make sure that all of my emails are deleted, man. And, and I'm gonna delete all the emails from my mom that are, like, business emails that don't have, like, where she's writing something long, like, you know, usually when she writes, it's like some kind of, um, financial thing. Um, yeah, but, uh, trivial thing, but I don't know. Maybe I should keep it all. I'll ask her. But if I, yeah, then I'll delete those. And yeah, that'll get me back on track. And then I can organize my own files and then try to organize all the paperwork for tomorrow. It's just a matter of days is all. So anyways, that's what I'm up to. How long was this video? I'm just curious. God damn it. It doesn't say. Anyways, okay, so... Um, I'm, I'm excited though to get in shape like that's the other thing that's making me happy because I know that I'm not going back meaning I'm I know 100% that I'm doing it which is super happy even though it's taking forever and I don't feel good I'm like, I mean I'm, I know where I'm going and I'm happy because um, because uh, I'm looking forward to uh, getting back in shape and I know my it's going to be fun because my body wants to do it. I can tell my body wants wants it really badly. Like it's because it's my it's what your body's designed for. So even though I'm in really out of shape, my body is gonna feel at home. Um, and but not just at home. My body's my body is gonna be like relieved because my body's actually going to be getting um, healed from all the sicknesses it's getting. Like the and I just felt another one right now. Like these these pain pangs that I get in my left um, hip. Because the blood circulation is going to get back there. The lymph system is going to get going and be able to push, get fix my hip, and my body is going to notice that and feel better and get more encouraged than the knee pain. I have the same problem with the knee and everything. And so and because of the, edu the exercise, so the body is going to be like, oh, more of this stuff. And so I'll be like weak, but I will, I will be feeling the, and I will be feeling like, all the muscular pain and everything, but I'll be feeling euphoric in, in like a way that's different from if I've been in shape all the time, you know, like it's like new. So, um, yeah, I want to listen to music. Oh, and I'm not going to, um, listen to books or anything while I ride until I, um, until I, um, I'm, I'm, I mean, listen, yeah, until I'm done listening to music, um, because the whole purpose of making the website and setting a system up to listen to books while I'm riding my bike or exercising is so that I don't feel bad about exercising. Uh, I think that's the main thing. People don't talk about it. Um, and so that's, and that's why we need to just make them priority just listen to stuff while you're doing it. What meaning? So we have to make, you know, biking on the road really safe, you know, make it the car's responsibility, not the bike's responsibility to save the biker's life. And so, um, um, 
And so uh, that will naturally come. I'm not going to try to force it. I'll just let myself enjoy myself listening to music. And however long time, you know, um, and it'll probably be when I, after I get in shape. And even if it's like six months, that's fine. Because I'll be learning anyway um, from doing the work, doing all the copying and pasting. Even though I'm not really reading it, I'll be looking at it enough. And I'll be listening to it because I'll be interested in the stuff like that from time for a little bit for during the day. So, um, I'll be, I'll be, um, uh, it'll be, I'll just let my emotions guide when I'll let the listening to books take over the mu listening to music. And, uh, yeah, and I, it's fun to predict. And I think I'll say six months. Oh, and also, um, yeah, I was thinking around the back of my head, it'll be a year until I get to the level that I was when I was before when I was younger, um, but I kind of have a goal, and I don't know how realistic it is. Depends, I've been thinking it depends, like, on how quickly I can get caught up with all my life, you know, and have time to just dedicate to trying to ride, but I was thinking, I think I want to start out just by riding, because, um, like, it'd be probably be better for my body to run. I build the muscles faster, but I'd, I'd probably wear myself out more running. So, uh, but anyways, my goal was because I think I want to do both. But the goal is to try to do the uh, the Grand Loop before the end of the summer, but not to try to do the Grand Loop until I ride three thousand miles, so that I don't bonk. And um, um, yeah, and so, but it, so that'll be like I don't know if I'll have the time to do that. So maybe that'd be a good goal to do. The Grand Loop is, um, and I did it once, out, totally off the couch when I was 32 or something, 33, right after, uh, like, 2007. But, uh, um, yeah, it's uh, from here to Estes Park over the Rocky Mountain National Park, Great Divide, over to Winter Park over the Hoosier Pass down into... Jamestown and then up to Central City and then back along the Peak to Peak Highway, which is just the, probably the best highway to ride a bike on the planet. I want to do a lot of rides from the southern end to the northern end a lot. I want to make that like my favorite ride. I've never done that even. And do it like back and forth like that. Because it has a, it's a, it's a really, um, it's a really smooth road, like paved recently. It has a really wide shoulder throughout the entire thing. Cars don't drive crazy on it because they're just hippie, like people who live in the mountains or tourists and um, not, not too much trucking. And you're literally right next to the mountains, like the, like the actual mountains, like the snow, like you feel like you're in the mountains and it's climbing. It's up and down, up and down. Cause you're on the, you're going across North along all the valleys of the mountains. And so it's like the best ride and you're at altitude. You're at like 80, 800 feet or something. So, um, but anyway, yeah, you come back on that and then down and, uh, yeah, I did that and I, my left ankle was creaky for like a week. <laughs> and when I remember when I was riding back, my left elbow was like an excruciating pain. But, um, anyway, so that, that, I don't know if that's possible, but that's a good goal. Um, and we'll see, but, um, um, so, uh. I'm going to, uh, yeah, so anyways, that's enough talking, um, damn, um, just getting caught up though, you know, because I haven't done videos for a while, so I still feel the niacin, whoosh, like on my chest, so anyways, I'm going to watch music videos, smoke a little bit more weed, and then d delete all this stuff, which is actually fun, because it's an excuse to just sit here, and then um, proceed to organize my room and find the tool, and then do, put the chain on, hey, you know what I mean, like plenty of stuff, man, I just got a pain, another pain that I get all the time, is from my coccyx. The lower where you sit, my tailbone, I have to move my gyrate. Uh, yeah, it's all squashed, dead, squashed. It's part of what's cutting off the circulation of my hip and killing my leg muscles. But um, I got a, a, a pain pang from that all the way up my spine, like six inches. And that's like something, a regular thing. And I just got that. So anyways, that's what I mean. Like I'm literally, I know that I'm not going to relapse, which is awesome. And my mom was yelling at me, telling me not to do it. And so if my mom wants me, and it makes sense that she will want me to. Because she's getting old and vicariously, or she can she could, she could help stay young if she sees me get young. She'll get crepid faster, but I get crepid faster. So it's like I'm doing it for her. So it's like, bam. So, 
yeah, it's it's uh, it's good. Um, so, anyways, yeah, I'll I'll do my vlog tomorrow morning. I didn't do it yet because I was busy all day. Like I was trying to clean, and then she came over. So, all right. So, talk to you tomorrow. I'm gonna upload this bitch right now. Talk to you tomorrow. Have a good one.